Oh, dude. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> dude, you took some shrapnel from that. <laughs> this, oh. this, this poor guy in front of me oh, just got to see you ruined. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to a new video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you something a little bit different. This is Insurgency Sandstorm. It's a game that is based in the Middle East and basically puts the security forces against the insurgent forces in a Middle Eastern setting. It's actually a really cool game and in most of these clips, in all of these clips, I'm actually playing with Sherman, who was the person who originally introduced me to the game. And I did receive a key for free from the developers, so that was also helpful. This isn't a sponsored video, by the way. I just thought I'd put this together because I had some clips of me playing with Sherman. So just a little bonus video today with my thoughts and impressions of the game. So where to start? Well, it kind of makes sense to sort of mention the previous installment of Insurgency, which was actually quite a good game. I really enjoyed the gunplay, but I felt often that the maps were too small and quite confined. It led to a lot of spawn killing and just in general, like although the gunplay was good, the gameplay in general felt a bit awkward and I never really got on with Insurgency very well. But Insurgency Sandstorm seems to improve on a lot of those sort of mechanics. It still has the fantastic gunplay. The models of the guns are spectacular. They look awesome. The whole attachment system is incredible with the silencers. You can see I've got a holographic on my uh, gun here. And that's all my own choice. It's really, really cool. But yeah, the gunplay is fantastic still. But the great thing for Insurgency Sandstorm is they seem to have expanded on the maps. They've made the maps bigger and it basically means you have a lot more tactical opportunity as you progress. You're not sent down the same three funnels, which was a real problem with the map design on the original Insurgency. This time around, it feels like you're a bit more free. There is still some confined spaces which do force you up certain alleys, but it mainly comes down to terrain, like natural terrain that they've added to the game rather than a sort of invisible wall kind of thing. So that's really cool. That's not to say that the original Insurgency used invisible walls, but it really felt like they put physical walls in places to keep the player in the map and often spaces were very confined and looked as though they were built to be so rather than a more open area as is displayed in Insurgency Sandstorm. And I think the reason for that is because Insurgency Sandstorm really seems to focus on making the battles feel bigger than they actually are. The whole idea of Insurgency is to have a lot of action in a confined space. It's all about close range engagements, really intense fighting. I think that's what the developers are trying to go for uh, with Insurgency. But they managed to do that whilst not making you feel claustrophobic. And that is something that's really, really well done. The maps look bigger than they are. Um, the scenery is great. Um, the sky boxes are done really well. So you never feel like you couldn't walk over to the mountain, it's just you don't because that's not your objective. So what sort of gameplay can you expect when you come into Insurgency Sandstorm? Well it mainly is a very realistic shooter in a sense that you take a couple bullets and you die. And some people can get very frustrated with that, I understand, um, and some people prefer those arcade shooters, I get it. Um, but personally I think that the weapon damage is actually modelled quite nicely in Insurgency Sandstorm. It's not completely realistic. Sometimes you probably take a bullet more than you should or an explosion goes off nearby and you don't die. But in general, it feels like when you shoot someone and you shoot someone accurately, 
you will kill them. And that is rewarding, and it feels rewarding because of that. Now along the same vein, you can take a couple shots or even one shot sometimes and die. So tactical movement is a lot more important in this game and I think the control system is done really well to allow you to do so. It really felt like through some of these clips that I was creeping tactically towards my objective and taking out the insurgents as I go or the security forces as I, as I go. And it just was really really cool those really awesome moments which felt like I was doing the right thing in the moment and getting the job done. Now I've said all this and it may sound like I'm singing the game's praises but I think there are definitely problems. Um, the animations of the guns are fantastic but the animations of the actual character models do seem very jolty and not very good at the moment. I believe the developers are working on it, they're definitely planning to improve the animations. I think they're even trying to overhaul the rigs of the characters to make them a bit more bulky because just in general the soldiers look really really skinny. Now this is more of a problem on the security side than it is on the insurgent side because you can imagine on the insurgent side them not having all of this body armour and stuff. But when you look at the security forces, they do have body armor, backpack, helmet. And sometimes you're just wondering how that character model can carry it all, especially when they're holding things like massive machine guns and so on. So it does break your immersion. And that is probably the main issue that I have uh, with the game thus far. Now that may not sound like such a big problem, but since the maps are rather confined and the whole game is based around teamwork you do see each other's character models quite often there's an entire customization system based around it and that is a problem if every time you see one it kind of makes you go oh and brings you out of the game now speaking of customization, something I haven't mentioned so far is the class system that the game uses. There's multiple classes and you choose one before you jump into the game. Each class is assigned different weapons to choose from, each weapon has different attachments and so on. And I really kind of like the system, but the one thing that I do kind of find a bit odd is the armour. Now you can go without armour, you can go with light armour and you can go with heavy armour. The difference being you can survive an extra bullet or two to your centre mass. Personally, the reward for not taking armour is not high enough to incentivize doing so. And therefore, I always found myself taking heavy armour so that I could survive that potential extra hit, making one-on-one -on -one engagements more in my favour. It almost felt like I had no choice at all, because if I didn't take it I was putting myself at a disadvantage and that was something that I didn't like when it came to the customization system. Anyway, to sum it up, I think Insurgency Sandstorm was actually a really nice surprise for me. Uh, I, like I said, wasn't a huge fan of the original Insurgency, I respected it as a good game, but I didn't personally play it very much. I think Insurgency Sandstorm I'd definitely play a little bit more. It's still a game that I think I'll play less commonly than others, but it provides a real sort of sense of tactical warfare that a lot of games struggle to get right. And the gunplay, like I said, is fantastic. Now I'll leave it up to you guys if you want to go check it out on Steam. Remember it is still in the beta phase and I really support the developers for listening to their community and making changes based upon that. But that's all from me, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and I'll leave you with some live gameplay to finish us off. Thanks guys, enjoy. I was, it's kind of hard to explain, like on the Charlie 2, if you like hold the, the comma key. They're around Charlie 2 area as far as I'm aware. I saw your shutter in a kneecap. <laughs> God damn, no chill. Holy oh, shit. Run straight through that smoke grenade.